The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. To solve this equation using the quadratic formula, remember from the previous example, the quadratic formula states that the variable we're solving for, in this case, x, is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. The values for a, b, and c in the formula come from the coefficients on our three terms in the trinomial. The value for a comes from the coefficient on the x squared term, which in this case is 1. So we say that a equals 1. The value for b comes from the coefficient on the x term, which in this case is negative 3. So we say that b equals negative 3. And the value for c comes from the constant term, which in this case is negative 4. So we say c equals negative 4. Plugging these three values in for a, b, and c into the quadratic formula, we have x equals negative b, which is negative of negative 3, or positive 3, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is negative 3 squared, or positive 9, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 4, all over 2a, which is 2 times 1, or 2. Simplifying inside the radical, we have x equals 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 4 times 1 times negative 4, which is 9 plus 16 over 2. Simplifying further inside the radical, we have x equals 3 plus or minus the square root of 25 over 2. And root 25 is just 5. So we have 3 plus or minus 5 over 2. So our solution is either 3 plus 5 over 2, which is 8 over 2, or 4, or 3 minus 5 over 2, which is negative 2 over 2, or negative 1.